Okay. How exciting. Okay, all three of us are moms, and I'm just going to go ahead and share that all three of us were just messaging each other about the craziness of our children, okay? So getting kids ready for nap times, um, needing to pump breast milk, um, kids with smoothies everywhere. So this is real life, y'all. And we just want to share with you guys that like, this is raw and real. If somebody runs naked in the background, a little child, don't be alarmed, okay? <laughs> so I'm Tamara, and then we have Emily and Lacey, and we are here to talk to you about what is coaching. This is our kickoff. This is our, well, I got a toddler up. Um, this is just our journey about what brought us here as coaches and some of the most common questions that we have as coaches. You may go potty. Um, so I'm Tamara. I started coaching about two years ago. Um, I actually joined the coaching opportunity because I saw a post from my coach's husband. He was like, because of my wife's job, we were able to go to Italy and Cancun paid for. And I was like, what kind of job do you have? Are you going to go to trips paid for? That's cool. And so I was like, what do you do? And she's like, I'm a beach body coach. I was like, bullshit. That's not a real job. Um, and so I told that to my husband and my husband was like, look, Tamara, there's like five people that have asked you about this beach body coaching thing. I think it's actually a real job. You should probably like go ahead and check it out. So I went to a sneak peek just like this one, saw the energy and like the love that all the coaches had for each other and had for this company and the passion. And I was just like, I'm in, I'm all in. Um, so that's just kind of what, um, you know, what got me started. And I know Emily and Lacey will kind of share what got them started as they um, continue to answer some of the most common questions that we have. Awesome. Thank you so much, Tamara. And that's funny because it's pretty much exactly how I felt. Like, this is not a real job. I have a real job. Um, <laughs> but anyway, so I have been doing Beachbody products for a long time. Um, have been doing all the programs and did it after I, my firstborn was in. Tamara actually reached out to me and said, hey, do you want to join this group? And I'm like, well, sure, I'm already doing it. Why not? Sounds cool. And then she was like, you would be a really good coach. I'm like, no, no, I'm not a coach of anything. So really like to me, when I hear the word coach, it means an expert to me because I played sports. And when I think of a coach, it's someone who I look up to a role model who I is like, is an awesome at whatever they're coaching, you know, expert. That's what it means to me. And here I am, I'm a coach, and I am no expert in health and fitness, but I'm titled a coach. Um, so what I want you to remember, and like I'm going to kind of tell my story of becoming a coach and just really explain what a coach is. Um, coach is not an expert in health and fitness. So when you think of coaching, it can, like when you hear coach, it can be intimidating because you do feel like you need to be qualified and an expert in health and fitness to be a coach, but you don't. What a coach is, is someone who is passionate about sharing their experience and sharing their journey with other people. Um, what, when I became a coach, all of a sudden I went from just doing products, doing the Beachbody products, and having fun with it to all of a sudden being so passionate and wanting to share my journey um, with other people. Hi, Jessica. Hi, Alicia. Um, so we're, we're talking right now about what a coach is. Um, and kind of answering. So if you have any questions, let us know. Um, okay. But what we basically want you to just debunk the fact that coaching means you have to be an expert. It doesn't. It's better to find it's just like wanting to keep yourself accountable, wanting to share your experience and the products with others, and also to connect. I connected with Tamara and also Lacey through this experience, and you develop friendships that you never thought you would have. Um, so Coaching is basically sharing your passion for the Beachbody products, for just this journey, this experience. It's sharing that with others. And what a coach is not is a salesperson. We, I literally cannot sell anything. Like I wasn't even good at selling coupon books when I was in third grade. And I mean, who says no to a third grader? Like, come on. I couldn't do it. Like if you say no to me, I'm like, okay, whatever. So I'm not, I'm not a salesperson. What? The best explanation to me, and actually this explanation got me to start coaching, was I'm a pharmacist, and I love to help people. If I can give you a tool to help you, whether that's a medicine, whether that's a tip, I'm going to do it. And so it's the same thing in life. Like, if I like stitch picks, and I told my mom about it, and she started doing it. That doesn't mean I sold stitch picks. It means I just shared something that I was passionate about to my mom that I enjoyed. And it's the same thing. Like, I... What I do, this beach body, I love it. I love it. And it helps me. It's given me results. It's given me mental clarity, emotional clarity. 
physical clarity, nutrition clarity, and support, then why would I not share that with other people? Because it would only help them as well. But we are not salespeople, but we are what you would say almost like helpers in that aspect. And so when I heard that, like that explanation to say we're not, we don't sell, we just share our journey. That was like, that's it. I've got to share my passion with other people. So that's really kind of a general overview of what a coach is and what a coach isn't. Um, it's not an expert. It's not a salesperson. It is someone who wants, who is passionate about, you know, this experience and the products and what you gained from these products. It's taking that and sharing it with others and get others to join you on the journey. So hopefully that kind of gave some overview and now Lacey's going to take it away. Okay. No screaming kids yet. <laughs> So um, as you know, I'm Lacey Walsh. Um, I have been a coach since the end of January of this year. Um, and it's my second time signing up as a coach, actually. <laughs> we won't get into that right now, though. Um, but uh, just I'm going to kind of share on how you don't have to have an amazing transformation. And um, kind of how I started my journey is when I was four months postpartum with my oldest, uh, Olivia, who's now two and a half. Um, I just, you know, there's always been in the back of my mind, I'm going to get fit, I'm going to get fit. I've had these inspiration shirts in the back of my closet that I've just rediscovered. Like, and they've been in there for about 10 years, and I'm finally able to finally fit into them. But I finally, so I was like, no more excuses, Lacey. It's time to buckle down, get your booty in gear, and be the healthiest version of yourself for your husband and for your daughter. And about, um, so I started in was four months and then she, when Olivia was seven months I surprisingly got pregnant again with our second and I went through a huge depression um, and I cut everybody that's when I stopped coaching again I was like screw you guys like you're all happy and bubbly you have it all together but that's not the truth we are all messes <laughs> but um, you know just the, uh, the sense of community too that that you get with this um, with these with these people with these women is what drew me back in to start my journey over and so um, that's just kind of where I now I'm a mom of two. They're 17 months apart and life is crazy. And she hears my voice. So now she's awake. <laughs> but, um, you know, I, it was more of just the transformation that I've gone through is more than physical. I've also gone through a lot of mentally. Um, and I've, you know, you don't, it's not relatable when you see somebody that, used to be super, super heavy. And all of a sudden they're like a size two. I mean, you know, people want to join you on your journey. They want to follow your story. They want to be able to relate to you and see where you're at and see what you're going through. And that makes you more relatable, especially because Alicia, Jessica, you both are moms on here as well. You know, I mean, that's what connects us is we're moms. And, um, and so that's the type of transformation I've mainly gained from this. Yes, physical has been great, but with that, I've also gained a lot of personal development. Um, and that's through podcasts, talking with Emily, talking with Tamara, you know, having that bond with somebody. Um, that, that's, that's what keeps me going, <laughs> is that type of transformation and just learning from one another and, and going from there. So, um, I don't have too, too much to touch on that. Um, I, I myself though have had an awesome transformation. Um, I'm down, what am I, I don't even know how many pounds total cause I don't really like the scale, <laughs> but my starting weight was 185. I'm down to one, 146. So, and that's after having Olivia, I'm getting pregnant again and then losing it again. So, but these women are what can, that helps me transform. And then also, um, helping me be vulnerable and putting myself out there on social media and um, sorry she's really distracting right now <laughs> but um, but yeah so you don't have to have a huge transformation to start sharing your journey and just show people where you're at right now and that's gonna make them want to hop on board and connect with you personally so yeah, I love that. Oh, Lace, if you need to go give her a big hugs, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> um, so um, I'm in between my two daughters' rooms, so one of them is definitely awake. The other one might start screaming too. We'll see. Um, so I'm going to talk about one of the topics that a lot of people will, will kind of just ask. They're like, well, 
do you really make money as a coach? Like, how does that even work? Um, so yeah, you can, it's really up to you and what your goals are with this. So some people join coaching just for like what Lacey talked about, that community aspect. They want that mama tribe. They want friends in their life. <laughs> I see you cutie. Um, they want friends in their life that are there for them. They want that personal development side. Um, they want a discount. You get 25% off the products when you are a coach. So if you are like a regular Shakeology drinker, um, you get 25% off your shakes. So that's like a one of just, you know, one of the many benefits of coaching, but again, like the, the biggest benefit for, I would say all of us of coaching has been our like mental transformations and how we have grown as women, um, been able to bond together as moms, how we've been able to have this like really amazing, beautiful support system around us because we are connecting with these women every day. Um, but beyond that, making money as a coach can be a goal and it's a very good goal because this is a very lucrative business. So when you first start coaching, your income that you get is going to be off of those sales that you make. But remember, like Emily talked about it, think about it like a stitch fix. If you love your stitch fix, you're going to share with your mom, with your friends, like, I love my stitch fix products. Like, you know, you should try this stitch fix thing. I love my 21 day fix workout. You should try this workout. I love this shake that I'm getting to have. You should try this shake. That's what it is. So your first initial income that you get will be from anybody that decides like, oh, well, you know, Alicia or Jessica, they told me about this product. They helped me out and, um, and I'm starting. And then, you know, Alicia and Jessica, you guys make some income off of that. As you continue to grow, um, if you want to grow with this business, as you get team of women, like all of us are coaches. And if we get more coaches that want to join with us, then you'll start making residual income because Beachbody does this amazing thing where they start to give you volume off of what you your coaches are doing so if your coaches are helping other people get results if they're sharing you know their love for stitch fix their love for the 21 day fix and shakeology with others and getting them started with it too then you're also earning some of that income so it's really just people helping people the more people you help the more income um, for you know for myself I have doubled my income almost every year that I've been here which I know it's only two and a half years but I you know I look at myself every six months and I'm like wow I'm, I'm doubling I'm doubling I'm doubling so it's really interesting and really cool to see that because it's allowed me to be able to be home with my girls it's allowed me to be able to pay for child care twice a week so that I can work so that I can do things like well I have the kids right now to myself but so I can do things like this normally when a babysitter is here. Um, but I, you know, it's, it's just given me like this, this huge belief that I really can get to a point where my goal really is to bring my husband home from work. It is to bring him back to the house to allow him to have the opportunity to choose. Does he want to keep doing his job or do we want Beachbody to be the bigger source of income? So I say that to share with you guys that, you know, Beachbody does not guarantee any levels of success. Anytime we talk about finances, we have to share the Beachbody disclosure. We do not guarantee any level of success with the Beachbody business. It is all dependent upon what you as a coach can do and you know, who you can help. But honestly, the possibilities are limitless. You'll, um, you know, if you help people with the products that you are loving, you'll earn income off of that. If you start to help other people start coaching themselves and they start to help other people, you'll earn income off of that. So does that kind of overview Emily and Lacey? Was there anything else that you wanted to touch upon? I know this is always like the subject that I think all of us are like, Oh, <laughs> did you talk? Sorry, I was taking her to the potty. Um, You're good. Did touch on military and veteran waivers? No, that's a good point. So if you are military, um, you, so every month with Beachbody, you do have a $16 a month coach fee. Okay. This coach fee goes towards Beachbody is the one that ships all the products. They're the one that handles the customer relations. If something goes wrong with like the bag of Shakeology, or if you buy a DVD and it's scratched, Beachbody handles all that. We don't handle that as a coach. They handle your websites, all that stuff. Um, so, as a coach, you pay a $16 a month fee, but if you are military or if you are married to somebody who has been in the military, veteran or active, um, then you are retired or active, then you are allowed a military waiver. And so that $16 fee is waived. So you'll be getting 25% off, off of your product. So if you're using Shakeology, for example, it goes from $130 to $97. And then you would get that fee waived, that $16 fee waived. So if you aren't military, you still pay that $16 fee. I pay that $16 fee. I pay for my Shakeology every month. I pay for my husband's Shakeology every month. And all of ours is, has been covered from what I make as a coach. So I, every month I've covered my own costs as a coach. 
And that's by helping, I've helped three people or, or more every month get started and that's covered my costs. So, good, thank you. <laughs> I can't think of anything else about money. Okay, so after money, a lot of people say, okay, so I, I can make money, how much time does it take? Like actually how much time do I have to put in to make money? Um, and so I'll just go ahead and say, I am a pharmacist. I work three days a week. Um, my husband travels probably 90% of the time and I have two kids. Uh, the oldest just turned two and Connor's 10 months. So I will say I work probably about two hours every day um, all combined. Uh, but really what I want you to take from this is that you get out of it what you put in. So really, like, however much time you want to spend on the Beachbody aspect, the business, it's your business. However much time you put into it, that's what you're going to get out. And I really, like, I just started coaching a few months ago, maybe three months ago. And I can see, like, when I'm putting a lot of time in and I'm passionate about it, my business gets going good. And then when life kind of gets in the way, it kind of takes a little bit of a dip. And that's, that's just life. And it's, it's good because I'm able to put in time when I can. Um, and so... I will say at the beginning, I was spending a lot of time just trying to learn, trying to get caught up. Like, how do I run a challenge group? How do I do this coaching? How do I like there's it's kind of overwhelming, I will say. So at the beginning, I was staying up at night, putting a lot of time in, but I enjoyed it. That's the difference. Sometimes you can do work and you can put a lot of time into it and you're miserable. Um, but I was staying up late and, you know, not getting a lot of sleep. And I absolutely loved it. I just wanted more and more and more and more. So I did sacrifice a lot, sacrifice, sacrifice some sleep, um, maybe a little bit of my sanity, but it was worth it. Um, and so there's a ton of, you know, resources available for you to make that beginning process not as time consuming. But do know, like when you first start, if you want to hit the ground running like I did, you're going to have to put some time into it. Um, but then after you kind of get into a rhythm and find what works for you, like now I respond to messages when I'm in the car. Um, I respond to, I, you know, post posts when the kids are sleeping or when they're in their hot chairs at, you know, lunchtime and they're <laughs> hopefully like focused on food, not throwing it. Um, and they're contained. Um, so you, you find mom cracks. Like we're doing right now, you know, Lacey and Tamara are at home with the kids and we're doing this. You just find the mom cracks that you have that you can put some time into your business. And really, really the main thing is, is you just have to remember you get out of it what you put into it. So it's all about you and your goals and what you want. Um, so I will say, and maybe Tamara and Lacey can kind of, sh you know, share how much time they put into it. But I will say like right now combined, and that is getting up in the morning doing my personal development, doing my workout, you know, checking in with my challengers, you know, responding to messages throughout the day. And then in the evening, I do some stuff. I would say probably every day it's about two hours. And that includes my workout and my personal development and all of that. So it can go two and a half, three hours, depending on if the kids are there. But Tamara Lacey, do y'all want to kind of comment about how much time it takes you? And then I'm, I'm good. Yeah, so I'll share when I first started, um, I have this goal to hit what is like a certain rank in our business, basically. And that was, uh, it was a goal that I had. And so what I did is I literally every day when Braylon, my oldest daughter, went down for her nap, I immediately, immediately went into my like office, which is, I think that, I think it was this room too, the, the, the master or the guest bedroom. And I would work, I would put a timer on and I would work for an hour. And that was the only time I would give my business because Mama had other stuff to do around the house, okay? So I got to be really good at getting things done really quickly in the beginning phases of my business. I work a little bit more now. Um, I probably work a little bit slower now because I'm kind of just like, I'm kind of breathing more. Um, but I'm, and I'm also just running into different things in my business. I've been in here for two and a half years. So but in the beginning, it was an hour. I mean, it was literally hour set the timer and done. And if I didn't get it done during nap, she didn't nap or something, I would, um, you know, have my husband help me at night and either do it, you know, after the kids were in bed or, you know, right before bedtime so that I could get some stuff done. Um, I will share, I was like Emily though. I was at least, I was 
thinking about it all the time because I was so passionate about it. So that's the one thing like you might feel like, Oh my gosh, I'm working all the time. You're not working. You're thinking about it. And that's where personal development will come in and help you so that you can kind of take a breather so that you can give yourself a little bit of relax room because it is super exciting. I think that's, hold on. I don't know how to turn this off. There you go. I don't know why. I don't even know how the phone goes through the computer. I have no clue how that happens. I don't understand technology. So um, anyways, but yeah, so that's kind of where, where I started when I was first starting out as a coach. What about you, Lace? Um, I started off like Emily staying up really late at night. Um, I wouldn't go to bed with my husband. <laughs> I'm like, sorry, babe, I got stuff to do. Um, and I would honestly spend about, you know, including personal development, my working out about three, four hours a day, just because it, it was on my mind. Like they said, all the time. It's all I wanted to do. It's all I wanted to talk about to the point where my husband's like, okay, enough. Like I get it, but talk to your girlfriends. <laughs> and that's not a bad thing. Uh, but I have actually dwindled it down now because the girls are up a lot longer throughout the day um, to about one to two hours a day. Um, actually, I have my husband after dinner. He will put the girls, he'll give them a bath, get them in their pajamas, ready for bed as I'm on the computer doing what I need to do. And then that way I, we can go to bed together too. So, cause that's one thing he was like, I don't like going to bed by myself, <laughs> but you know, each their own, each, um, that's the thing is, yeah, each of us are different. We all have our own, um, own systems, our own ways of working things. Um, you know, just, yeah, fitting in the mom cracks. Um, for me personally, it's like, I have to work from home cause that's where I have Wi-Fi. I don't have data to really use out and about. So I can't, you know, if I'm driving, I can't really do that. That's just me personally. So everything I do is here at home. Um, but, you know, so we all come from different places. We all have our own different challenges. And, um, yeah, it, we all make it work, though, because we're passionate about it. And that's the core is we're all passionate about it. So we don't let those get in the way and hinder what we love doing. And if somebody needs to wait on a message, then it waits. But they understand because it's moms. So, <laughs> um, so I'm going to go ahead and try and wrap this up then. And uh, so you're probably wondering, okay, what do I do from here? Now I've heard you guys talk. That's great. It that sounds great. Um, send whoever uh, sent the invite. Send them a message. Let them know that you're in. Tell them that you want to be a part of this community and that you want to start earning an income, an extra income on the side. Alicia, you do Pampered Chef. You know how this stuff works. Um, you could also do this on the side as well. On top of that, maybe on your slow months, you could be also helping people with, your health, with their health and fitness. Um, and then for the month of November, for anyone that does sign up, we are doing um, an all month training here, um, either on Facebook, um, something personal, something hands-on. So we're not just gonna like write posts and leave you. So it's gonna be hands-on, you're gonna be working with, with all three of us personally, and um, we're gonna help you start it. We wanna help you thrive, we wanna help you help people and do what we do, because we're so passionate about it. And, um, and so once you do decide to take the jump and become a coach, um, you are locked in with that coach, just so you know. So if you are a coach watching and you want to change coaches, unfortunately, you have to stop for six months, become a customer, and then re-sign up as a coach under whoever you would want to be under. Um, but... Uh, yeah, as much as we would love to help everybody, you know, we kind of have to follow the rules too. So um, that's just how it goes. Um, and then to get signed up, um, you just need to purchase a challenge pack, uh, which is $160. And then your $40 fee is waived for that. Um, if you are a customer and you have already signed up for a challenge pack, that fee is waived as well. So you just need to call contact coach relations. They'll get it taken care of. And boom, you're a coach and you get it for the 160 um, and with the 160 um, challenge pack, you get your 30-day supply of Shakeology, flavor of your choice, portion control containers, fixed meal plan, our community, um, and a year your annual access to all of our 600 plus workouts, and um, virtually everything, everything you need to get started is in that 160 package. And the best part about being a coach is you don't have to keep any products on hand. That's like my absolute favorite part. So if I give people some Shakeology, it's my personal Shakeology. That's just because I want to share my love for it with other people. So I'm willing to invest in that and give it to them. Um, but yeah, and then I'm trying to reiterate, there was the $16 fee is also waived if you are a military or veteran. 
we talked about that. Um, yeah, and then Beachbody, it's just, they're a top-notch company, and they're always keeping you prepared, and they're constantly coming out with new programs just to help keep up with the competition and stay ahead of the game. And just without this, you know, Beachbody bringing us together initially, I, I wouldn't have met these amazing women. And it just, it gets me all emotional just thinking about the relationships that, that we've built. And I just, I love it. So... Um, if you feel like this is the time for you to go ahead and get started and get going, whether it be fast paced, slow paced, whatever pace you need to go, we're here to help you. That's the best part too, is we're not selling anything. We're just helping people because it's helped us and we just want to share it with all of you. So is there anything else that we need to touch on? No, I think that's awesome. I mean, Jessica, Alicia, if y'all have any questions that you want to ask, we'll take them really quick. But we just wanted to be this, you know, this really quick 30 minutes, really the details. Um, if you have questions that you want to ask us personally, feel free. Do you have, do y'all have any questions that you want to ask? Hold on. I think Jessica unmute you. Oh yeah. Hey, what? should we keep this recorded? And if you have a, like a private question, let us know. Cause this is recording and we will play this back. But if you're like good with everybody having it, we can keep the recording. It's up to you. <laughs> oh, I, I don't have any questions actually. I'm good. <laughs> yeah. I don't have any either. Awesome. Well, I hope that you all can tell like how passionate we are about this. And I will say I was passionate before I started, but once I met these women and, and what happens is you, once you become a coach, you get connected. We have weekly meetings. We connect through Boxer. We talk to each other. And it's not just about business. It's about how are you doing. Um, and, and when you get that connection, you just like, it's, your heart just overflows. You just want to share it with everybody. And honestly, like Lacey and Tamara have been my rock. Like, I live in California by myself. And without them, I don't know what I would do. I thought we talked to more than I talked to my parents actually. Um, but we just hope that this was able to like give you some, you know, tips, some answer, some questions, really kind of give you the, the general overview. So definitely outreach to us if you have any questions um, or if you're interested, we are super, super excited to be uh, doing the training next month. So that's something new and we're really excited about it. But I think that's all. That's a wrap. All right. Thank, thank, you, thank you both for hopping on, Jessica and Alicia. Yeah. We really appreciate your time. Yeah. But we'll record it and we'll have it so you can listen back to it if you want to. Yep. All right. Sounds good. All right. Thanks, y'all. Bye. 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 Thank you.